The Primordial Tyrant's Giganotosaurus is getting a massive rework and I wanted to show off all of that because, well, it's one of my favourite dinosaurs and one of my favourite mods in the game. I'll be splitting this into segments talking about the model rework, the skins and some recent animations that have been showcased. So of course if you are new I want to be kept in the loop because when this mod is released I'll be doing a showcase of the whole remodel in game. And yeah, if you are new feel free to subscribe but let's just get right into it. Now to start things off, this remodel is following the completion of the Argentinosaurus remodel which is already out and you can definitely go and check out now and it looks fantastic. Hopefully that Yananosaurus follows this as well and gets a remodel too because that thing's beautiful and it's just been sat on the sidelines withering away for a little bit. The new Giganotosaurus is far more detailed than the old Giganotosaurus with new proportions that change the dinosaur entirely. A good showcase of this is basically showcasing the before and after of the models which the creators of this mod have quite adequately and quite nicely pointed out with the bottom model being the new one and the top one being the old one in this showcase and there are some key differences here that I can point out. Firstly the new model has been technically shrunk and some other stuff and proportions have been shrunk as well like the head of the new model is also smaller and more proportionate to the model compared to the old one whereas the old one kind of looked like a bobble head in a sense. The spikes running along the body are more varied and smaller as well so there's more of them but the smaller and the more kind of like scoots in a sense. The scales are more detailed as well if you look at the face of the dinosaur you can actually compare this very well and if you look at the comparison of the models you can also compare this very well because overall the detail on the model itself is hugely increased and hugely upgraded and it's very nice overall and yeah the wrinkles too have had a lot of work on them as well. The hands are now smaller as well and the legs don't look like the Giganotosaurus has only been hitting leg day. And I also want to say the distance between the arms and the legs is now a bit more proportionate as well. Before it was a lot wider and now it's a little bit shorter which is quite nice. There is a comparison of the head which pretty much shows the change in detail here on the head as well. It looks a lot more magnificent, definitely fits as an in-game animal and yeah it's great. And also we get to see four subspecies for the dinosaur. Now I do want to say Phanomia technically will be getting some extra touch ups as well in the future. But the new models are for the subspecies. Firstly got Caroline, Agilis, Salgado and Phanomia. And obviously they were all on the screen when I mentioned them. Let me know which one was your favourite. But let's get into the skins that have been showcased. And some of these are brand new. The Giganotosaurus is definitely getting close to release. Now, the reason why I say that is because when Argentinosaurus got a remodel, the last thing the creators of the mod done was literally showcase all of its skins. So I would not be surprised if this comes out this week or even before this video goes up, which will be incredible look. That being said, we have a whole batch and swathe of skins. Firstly, we have three really cool ones. We've got the new albino skin, the new melanistic skin, and a brand new skin, which is called Nocturne, which is like a melanistic skin but with subtle oranges on the black as well, which is perfect. We also have six additional skins. Some of these are brand new, and some of these are returning skins that were on the model previously. The first skin is a grey-blue skin, and it looks like something that is actually a brand new skin. Overall, a very nice skin with some subtle details as well, with darker blues and greys overall. The second skin, I believe, is a returning skin. This is the White Hood skin, making a return of the popular skin, which I really like and it looks really nice on the new model. The third skin I believe is new as well, but also could be the Naga skin. Regardless, it looks really nice. I like these subtle skin designs, very realistic, very nice overall. However, the next skin is another skin that I like quite a bit and is a new skin. This is a mix of oranges, whites, and blacks, similar to the Nocturne skin in a way, which is really nice. The Giganotosaurus model looks really nice with these blends of blacks, oranges, greys and reds. I think it overall just excels on the model even more. It makes it seem like a nighttime hunter or a sunset hunter. You know, it's really cool. 
Another new skin is up next as well. This is a weird blend of grey, orange, and an off green. It kind of reminds me of military camo in a sense in terms of the pattern and the greeny colour that has been provided. I think it is a teal. I'm not too sure. That being said, kind of reminds me of the other skins, the other darker coloured skins with oranges mixed in them. I do like the ones where they utilise orange and the final skin utilises orange very well. This is the return of the fire belly skin and it looks really really nice obviously this is pretty much not changed from the old model however it's now on the new model and it looks fantastic on the new model it's definitely done itself justice here and that's all the skins that have been showcased so far for the brand new giganotosaurus model let me know which one you like the most i quite like the nocturne skin and i really like that other one that kind of looks like it too <laughs> Now, I'm not going to showcase all the animations here. I'm only going to be showcasing the newer ones because I want to save the animation showcases and the full showcases for a video showcasing them all. So we have a good comparison here of the old broadcast animation compared to the new one. Here is the old one on the screen now, which looks really nice. You know, it's the old one. It kind of holds out for a little bit. And then you've got the new one, which is on the screen now as well. And it looks a lot more ferocious, a lot more like meaning its business in a way. And it, I like it a lot more. And they've done a very good work. I'm pretty sure it's Nimwit who does these animations. So yeah, round of applause, Nimwit. As always, fantastic animation work. And the next animation is the ripping bite attack. Now, if you do play Giganotosaurus, this is the standard or one of the upgrade bites attacks that you can get it's a bleed damage bite and i actually like a little hint here where the dinosaur does a little tear or rips its face from side to side after the end of the bite animation itself as if it's torn flesh off and it's ripping it in its mouth it's a really nice subtle touch and then speaking of attacks we get a brand new attack ability you know that tyrannosaurus has a charge attack well this dinosaur will be getting a charge attack as well the giganotosaurus charge attack will be where it will be charging forward, much like the new Rex attack. I love this. I like how it's constantly biting as well. It kind of reminds me of the Ferrazinosaurus charge attack where it's constantly slashing its claws around, but this is doing bites instead. Definitely don't get in the way of it, but I don't see the animation lasting too long. It's a nice one regardless. We also have an eating and sleeping animation as well, which is some nice animations to go off. I really like these ones. And well, speaking of that, that's the end of the previews because I'm going to try and hold some of these to save for you all in the future video when I review the model when it's out. Let me know your thoughts about this one in the comments down below. I'd love to know what you think. Anyways, guys, that's it. And there we have it. The brand new Giganotosaurus model showcase. It looks great. I like the model and the rework overall. They've done a fantastic job here. The detail on it, the skins and new animations. Everything's coming together. So fantastic work to the Primordial Tyrants team. Anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts about this one in the comments down below. Now, this is a replacement to the stream tonight because I'm not streaming tonight. I'm at work. And uh, as this video goes up, I'll still have about five hours left at work. Yeah, it's great. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you all in the next one. Have a great day. Peace.